have so many questions about the speaker's submission process, but no means to answer them. However will I know if my talk about the use of chickens in video games is what the GCAP team wants to see? It can't be. No. Wait, is that Savwell, Manager of Events, Content, and DEI at IGEA, which manages GCAP and who facilitates the content creation of GCAP? What are you doing in my house? How did you get in here? Let's not get hung up on the details. You wanted to know about GCAP, and I'm here to help, like your fairy godmother. Except instead of wishes, you get to listen to me and then submit a form. Uh, really, how are you here? Let's get started, shall we? I need access to your kitchen. <laughs> we have your email, we can always work on fixing things up together. Generally, we like everything sorted by the time the schedule goes out, but we know that life can come at you fast, so just keep communicating with us so that we can keep on top of the situation. The earlier we know, the easier we can manage. Imagine if you would that you're giving your talk, and after it concludes, there's going to be a test. Actionable takeaways are what you think your audience should be taking down as notes. If they had to sum up your slides to review and work on later, what would they be writing down? You don't actually need to provide a prop quiz at the end of your GCAP talk, but it's helpful to think about it in that way. Think what questions would be on it, and if your talk would provide the answers to those questions. Those are your actionable takeaways. Submitting a heavily redacted talk with a comment about how we will know more once the NDA lifts is totally okay. As long as the NDA will be lifted before the public schedule goes live, which is usually towards the end of July. If it hasn't, contact us directly to discuss next steps. Even when the project is redacted, we'll still need to know the basics of the talk, what area of the track you're going to be discussing, and what the takeaways will be, even if we can't know what they relate to yet. We're seeing more and more cross-disciplinary talks coming up as devs mix, match, and remix their skill sets. The best rule of thumb is to make sure it's not a beginner's talk and then put it into the track that it is most catered to. If your audio talk touches on a bit of the tech, you'd put it in audio. If it was a tech talk with a bit of an audio focus, then you'd pop it in the tech track instead. If it doesn't really fit with anything yet, like a UX UI talk, try and find the track it would most align with. Is it the design side of the UX, or is it the art side for how the UI is displayed? Listen, I love getting weird, but were I to follow my dreams and submit a talk on cryptozoology, that wouldn't get through most likely. Were I to submit a talk on folklore and games, now there's something a little more interesting to our audience. You're welcome to get weird and do some funky things. We've had entirely animated talks, talks with dogs, talks about medieval snails. They were all relevant, but they certainly broke the mold. Don't be afraid to bring outside experience into games as well. You never know what might end up relevant. Can you please leave my kitchen? We pop together mission statements for this that give you an idea of some goals that we're looking to hit, but broadly it's up to you. You're in the industry and in the weeds of it all, so you're going to know if a talk is relevant and interesting to the people around you. Panels are fun, certainly, but they're quite difficult to go beyond an introductory level. Sometimes that's fine, if we're wanting to quickly cover off different types of funding across states or levels of things like that. Panels are a great way to do that. For more in-depth topics, however, it's much harder to get into the nitty-gritty and focus down on the technical. I miss the kitchen. Oh, hey! Of course, it always comes with a caveat that I can't give you a direct yes or no, because we have to go through our subject experts for curation, but I'm always available to bounce ideas off. The subject experts are a team of curators helping us to ensure that the talks we provide at GCAP are relevant, meet a certain level of information, and help to identify the immediate needs of the industry. Essentially, they're the people on the ground, in the fields, 
making sure that we are giving you the best possible talks for GCAP to help enhance your knowledge and even solve some of your work-related problems. Anyone know what this is? Not an expert. You should absolutely still submit yours. Usually we make requests to ensure we're getting a good and even spread across tracks, but that doesn't mean that we don't want to hear from you too. Hopefully you feel equipped to submit the best talk you possibly can now, but if you don't, you can always reach out to us directly to ask questions. We love to help, and we look forward to reading all of your submissions too. Stay safe, stay lovely, and see you next time. Hey, why don't you get back in here? G-Cat. G-Cat. Special stuff.